Hello, I'm Professor Von Schmohock, and welcome to Why You. In our last lecture, we saw that addition and multiplication are both commutative operations. The order of numbers which are added or multiplied can be rearranged without affecting the result. As we saw, addition also has an associative property. According to the associative property of addition, three or more numbers which are added can be grouped in any way without affecting the result. Does this also apply to multiplication? Let's start with our stack of twenty-four boxes and group them in different ways before multiplying. For instance, if we group the two and the three, we get four groups of six, which is still equal to twenty-four. Or we can group the four and the two to get three groups of eight, which is still twenty-four. Either way, we group the numbers, we still get the same result. If we use the letters a, b, and c instead of numbers, then we can write this property in a more general way. So the associative property applies to both addition and multiplication. But what if we have a group of numbers which are added and multiplied? Does the associative property still apply? Let's take an example where we group two plus three times four in two different ways. When we group numbers in parentheses, the operation inside the parentheses is performed first. So when two plus three is written in parentheses, we do the addition first, and then we multiply the result times four. In the second case, the parentheses are around the three times four, so the multiplication is performed first, and then two is added to the result. The result in the first case is twenty, while the result in the second case is fourteen. So the order of addition and multiplication does matter. The associative property does not apply to combinations of addition and multiplication. So how could this expression be written without parentheses, without changing the result? We can see from the diagram that both the two and the three must be multiplied by four. So if we remove the parentheses, we must multiply each number in the parentheses by four. In other words, the multiplier must be distributed. To each number in the parentheses, this is called the distributive property of multiplication over addition, or for short, the distributive property. Once again, if we use the letters a, b, and c instead of numbers, we can write this property in a more general way. The distributive property says that when a sum of numbers in parentheses Are multiplied by a number outside of the parentheses. If we remove the parentheses, then each number inside must be multiplied individually by the number outside. We can also use the distributive property in reverse. If we have two numbers a and b, which are both multiplied by c and then added, then we can group these two products in parentheses. And move the common multiplier c outside of the parentheses. Of course, because of the commutative property, the multiplier could be placed either before or after the parentheses. The distributive property can be applied to any quantity of numbers which all have a common multiplier. For example, let's say that four numbers, which we will call a, b, c, and d. Are all multiplied by five and then added. Then we can group these numbers as a sum in the parentheses, and multiply the parentheses by the common multiplier five. As you can see, 
The commutative, associative, and distributive properties are powerful tools which we can add to our tool chest of mathematical tricks. With them, we can manipulate groups of numbers and mathematical operations and change their form into equivalent forms which may be simpler or more useful.